Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good. A very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. Mr. Trump, we have to be much tougher, we have to be much stronger than we've been. We have people that know what's going on. You take a look at just the attack in California the other day. There were numerous people, including the mother, that knew what was going on. They saw a pipe bomb sitting all over the floor. They saw ammunition all over the place. They knew exactly what was going on. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, girlfriends, and they were put into planes and they were sent back for the most part to Saudi Arabia. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. I would be very, very firm with families. And frankly, that will make people think because they may not care much about their lives, but they do care, believe it or not, about their family. About their families' lives. You know, get... Normally, I get my news from CNN or Fox News or different news media outlets that you see on like Facebook and stuff like that. Social media. I'd probably say I get my news from social media. I try to staple it down, get my source of news. I'll either go, um, you know, Fox or CNN, kind of develop an educated opinion on both sources since they kind of represent both sides, like far left, far right. decisions as of late or ever since he came into office so I try to keep up with it every day or at least every other day. Pretty frequently. I mean it's kind of everywhere I look it's kind of hard to avoid especially when I'm on my phone it's on every social media platform every time I turn on the TV is something that you kind of have to look at. I think all of his decisions are definitely being highlighted right now so everything that he does is definitely something that's a hot topic of conversation but I don't think personally that I've taken more interest, particularly in politics. I haven't really kept up that much since the election. Uh, it's been pretty depressing and both, you know, nowadays just, you know, kind of a pissing contest between both sides and you can't really get any reliable information. It's just kind of one side trying to make the other look bad. family, but with my boyfriend, our beliefs are pretty opposite, which is definitely something that's caused a little bit of conflict throughout our relationship so far. Um, it's interesting to see how people that are close to you can have such different opinions, and you know, it's just something that you have to work out. You have to choose if it's that much of a priority for you, if it's going to ruin your relationship or just make it stronger. Uh, for the most part, my political beliefs in my family are kind of the same. Uh, I kind of differ a little bit because I develop more of a little educated opinion opposed to them being a little bit of a bubble where they stick to the they stick to the ride just watching Fox News as opposed to me where you know I've kind of got these different I network with different people and we kind of talk about different things so um, yeah I'm a little more well-rounded then I guess I do feel like I get I guess stressed out watching it just because the decisions being made by our current government are I think it's effect, more directly affect my family and people from my Mexican culture. Um, so it's just with deportation, even as a woman with, with women's rights and the possibility of having um, birth control being taken away or being put at a very extreme cost. So it is very stressful to hear about all the changes that may be made. It does definitely give me a little anxiety. I get a little... I feel a little awkward watching it. It kind of puts you in a position of just uncertainty. Like there's a lot of things that people are afraid of right now and it is scary. Um, I, to be honest, I try to avoid reading things or watching things that make me feel anxious, but you know, it just comes with the territory of politics, I guess. I don't feel myself getting stressed over the election. Um, 
you know, I did my part, cast my vote at the ballot, so now we just got to ride this one out and see if, if this is what we want. Um, I'm not going to stress over things I can't control. You know, I, I did my part, and that was the one thing I can control. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Hasn't directly impacted us, fortunately, um, but I can definitely speak from experience that I know a lot of people that have been impacted from this. Uh, the election has not directly affected my family yet. Um, they were kind of excited uh, going forward because, you know, we're, we're blue collar. Uh, they were looking for some change in the administration. Uh, we just got to see if this is the change that we want. And uh, time's going to tell. I think it's more frustration because I want them to understand how a minority feels or how you can see things from a woman's view if they are not a woman I guess but it, it's stressful and frustrating to know that people are not inclusive with their thoughts or beliefs that's a good question um it's definitely something I try to avoid at all costs. <laughs> um, I feel like it just kind of causes a lot of fights and brings up a lot of tension and it makes people kind of build animosity towards one another. So yeah, I definitely try to avoid that conversation as much as I can. Uh, you know, there's always some apprehension when you talk uh, with someone else who's got different political views than you. Because like I said, it's not really a, a constructive uh, discussion. It's more of a just, I know this, and I'm right, you're wrong, and it's just two people just kind of bantering back and forth, so, I mean, at least nowadays, it's what we're seeing, we're not seeing any constructive arguments, so, yeah, yeah, I kind of avoid those kind of confrontations, because, you know, it's, they, they almost lead to violent interactions. Um, I guess I could just try to do things that I enjoy, like watching Netflix, something that will help relax me, or like going to the beach, or just thinking about, I guess, the better things that are going on in the world. I like to just talk to close friends and family and kind of let them know how I'm feeling about something and get their feedback and just know that, you know, we're not alone. Everyone has their worries and apprehensions and it's nice to just get that feedback from other people when you're feeling a little scared or uneasy about something. Like I said, I'm not feeling overwhelmed with the news. I mean, you can talk about ways you outlet stress. You know, you know physical activity always works. Uh, there's different methods of deep breathing. But for me, it's I'm not stressing over the news. I'm just, you know, I'm worried about what I can control, what's going on in my life. You know, college students, we have enough to worry about other than the election, man. We got, you know, finals coming up here in two weeks. So that's, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs>